Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here you have a uh, your contact list. In the school, you can make it like, very. It's very neatly and sensitive in uh, to reactions. And then if you move around, you can go into a movie player. So we're using drag and drop, the, like a fold out uh, section here. So here we have a movie playing. And if I skip, go here. You can see we're lot using a lot of textures uh, to actually make sure it looks real, like real material. So here you can see, sorry, you can see like paper effects. And it, the physics and in, in the UI framework actually responds very well to the movements on the screen. Okay. We also have a widget section here. We can add your favorite widgets and move them around on the on the added screen. So you can add more widgets if you don't want the clock, for example. And you might want to have your photos in here as well. <laughs> and here's your calendar. So you can see on this, here, here's a very good paper effect. The, the music player. Yes. Uh, oh yeah. Sorry. Uh, let's go to the music player. So here we have your different albums. Oh yeah. We have not activated the, the player itself, but it, uh, it's uh, it, we have done that several times before, so it's not not a problem to do that as well. Of course. Okay. So uh, here's uh, a map. It could be uh, like Twitter things that you want to do. Okay, and uh, what is this? It's this is uh, the, the development board that uh, okay. kind of... We, we actually just use it for feeding with power because it has a tendency to crash if, it, it, if the power goes directly in. So it's, uh, it doesn't do anything in, in this sense. Okay, and uh, with which company are you working? We're working for a TAT, yeah. the Astonishing Tribe. Okay. So we're a Swedish-based company. We, uh, we have uh, an installed base of more than 250 million devices. So we work with uh, Samsung, Sony Ericsson, S60, Motorola. They're all running with our UI framework. You have to drag. <laughs> it's the fold-out principle. Too. It's, it's beautiful. Yeah. And uh, but here the device is a little big. Yeah. This this is just a development board. It, it's okay. A, so it's uh, oh much forty four thirty. But if you're if you're an example or running on the Nokia M ninety seven, yeah. you can run it as it, yeah. as it is because it's, it's this is a production platform for from TI. So it's. Uh, okay. From that perspective, we, we can. And the good thing about our framework is that we, it's very CPU and RAM efficient, so you can actually have this, almost this kind of effects also down on mid to low range devices as well. And so it's uh, Texas Instruments chipset? Yes, it, it's the TI, uh, and it's an ARM Cortex A8 uh, running it, and then it's the OMAC 3430. What is the, the clock? saying how much the clock frame okay. but it, it runs with uh, more than 40 frames per second. Okay. And the screen is... Uh, what? what about the screen? It's, uh, yeah, it's a wide VGA in this 